Good morning, I'm Cynthia, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you will not find anywhere else. And why is that, Doug? Because we're we Wall are, Street Media. We are Wall Street Media. You didn't do like the cool of this stuff. I'm reserved today. You really are, and look very professional, right? Yeah. Fantastic. What do we have? Okay, well, we have more of FBR uh, Fall Conference, Fall Investors Conference, wsw.com slash webcast slash FBR22 if you want to follow. First up, we have Larry Goldstone, President and CEO of Thornborg, Thornburg Mortgage, TMA ticker, discuss their strong mortgage security portfolio despite the credit crisis. They have managed to preserve their staff during the economic downturn and have been converting debt into equity. That's good. Yeah. Anytime uh, you no. can turn debt into equity, it sounds good to me. Just as long, anytime you can convert, retain your staff. Um, my buddy was going to tell me yesterday he was going to the CSFB uh, Christmas party last night. Can I ask you a question? If you have debt, right, and then you get equity, and your bar isn't equity borrowed, isn't that borrowed money as well? No, equity is what you have. Right, equity is what you have. Oh, but if, if you get an equity loan, then it becomes right. debt. They're yeah. not, so that's not what they're doing. No. Okay, good. They're, they're turning it into actual earnings. Okay. That's Did good. you want to hear my story? Yeah. Did, do you? Did it have to do with finance? Yes. Okay, go ahead. It had to do with that. Actually, it was far more relevant than your little <laughs> uh, more, I have a aside there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I see another spanking on the show coming soon. These are um, the uh, eggs. He was going to um, yeah. the CSFB Christmas party last night, uh, and then this morning when I came in, the first thing I saw across the news wires is they were getting rid of like 9,000 people. Thornburg Mortgage up 18% today. Oh, uh, German Mike. Wish I would have had them yesterday. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> they were at 23 cents yesterday, and they're all the way up to 24 cents. Oh, today. wow, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. there you go. What People do we have? Sent. Okay, John Wells, CEO of CNA uh, Surity Corporation, or SUR, uh, S-U-R, ticker, discussed the company's position as being on pace for a third consecutive year of recorded earnings. And they continue to record earnings. Sorry, and they continue to strengthen surplus and capital flexibility. He discussed premium declines in the second quarter of 2008, while commission incentives are being used to attract new business. Walter Pressy, president of Boston Private Financial Holdings (BPFH), spoke about the company's effort to enhance their risk portfolio, capital, and credit quality. He believes the bank has significant diversification in its assets and plans to further the use of organic means to provide growth and sustainability. Betsy Cohen, CEO of the Bank Corp, TBBK, spoke about the company's business model that is serving as growth engine with... I'm off this camera. This is not a break for you. <laughs> this is a break. Put him on camera. <laughs> You're... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm you know, working and Doug's having a break. Can I have your cigarette? Do you ever see me taking a break when you're talking? <laughs> yeah. no, you never give any peace. If I ever talk, I never get a freaking sentence out. You always <laughs> pipe it. This is break, not break time, Doug. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez, I mean, cheese and rice. Doug. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, Betsy Cohen, CEO of Bancorp, TBK, who works for a living. <laughs> see TBK. if I can get somebody like to rub my feet or something. It's just like little, I'm off camera. What do you think? You're still in <laughs> wherever you were? Vietnam? So you have little people under the table? Rubbing okay. Spoke about the company's business model that is serving as growth engine. Can you stop? I'm trying to work here, Doug. I was trying to leave you alone. You're, you know, you're very difficult to please. I'm talking about a growth engine. Have you ever heard about a growth engine? Doesn't that sound exciting to you? Have you ever been choked? Well, we're not talking about that now. <laughs> anyway, serving as a growth engine with deposits and private label banking and the generate. Did you see? Now you have this soda right in the thing. I, I just said I'm trying to let you hurry and get through. Are you advertising for Coca-Cola or what? What's happening here? Girl, did I, did I mention Marissa Miller? Did you see the outfit she has on? Replaced you on MSN money? I'm sorry I didn't get a contract. All right, Doug, did, did, did you see? Did you see? What's she wearing? What's she wearing on CNBC, huh? No. What do I get? My sister's rodeo outfit. Very <laughs> nice shirt. Oh man, What's wrong where's with that you? from? Mango. What's mango? I, mango? I like this shirt. Anyway, let me. Go you down. know mango? Okay. Now let me. You quite quiet down, German Mike. You need a haircut. Doesn't he need a haircut? Doesn't he look sloppy let's to be walking around okay, in Yugo Boss clothes? Okay. Let's talk about the growth engine that is serving as a growth engine with deposits and private li label banking and the generation of low-cost core deposits through the personal and business checking and savings account through the community bank. 
You know, Doug has that thing where he puts everybody else down and feel good. I put people down. <laughs> I'm sitting here doing Bella. nothing. I'm sitting here. I'm doing nothing. You walk in, I tell you how beautiful you are uh, every okay. day. Okay, that's true. You're God's gift. Okay. I tell him he's the smartest in the world. That's true. Okay, I apologize. John Pinkerton, CEO of Range Resources Corporation, RRC. I'm sitting quietly in the corner and you're busting exactly. my ass. Exactly. <laughs> in the corner with his soda and everything else he's got over there. Where's my cigarette? CEO of Range Resources Corporation, RRC, spoke about the increasing productivity of the wells due to their enhanced drilling technology. They are going to continue to drill on low-risk uh, multi-year drilling projects, which would potentially double their approved reserves. Ronald Middlestate, how do you say that? Stat. Like, That's like my like name. Like Estat, yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Like, that's why I was like, how do you say <laughs> that? Ronald Millistat, uh, CEO Worthington Jackman, CFO of Waste Connections, WCN, spoke about their differentiated model for exclusive, secondary, and suburban markets, which would result in a consistent pricing, better volume growth, lower customer churn rates, higher operating margins, and attractive returns on invested capital, which is much better than unattractive returns. Uh, let's talk attractive Bob, and attractive. Bob Quinn, CFO of Radian Group, RDN, spoke about the good liquidity in their mortgage insurance business and explained that their focus for MI is on maintaining ratings and GSE status to prepare to be a strong, strong player in the market after the cycle turns. Daniel Burst, CEO of AmeriCredit Corp, ACF ticker, discussed recent agreement with Fair Home Funds, which includes a trade of 15 million of the company's common shares for Fair Home Senior 8.5% senior notes. Edwin Johnson, CFO of Waste Services, WS, what is that, II? Mm -hmm. Explained that they have recently refinanced their senior credit, which allowed them to continue their landfill and disposal business model. See, that's more <clears> of this <throat> stuff that was going on. I know, but, more fighting with all these waste management companies. I mean, there must have been fabulous. like. It's the only one that you'll get all of like, them. Like, do at they the same try one. to stick each other into like those, um, those, what are those? The big, dumpsters. The dumpsters, thing. yeah. <laughs> the word was escaping me. I'm like, what is that big black thing that people throw garbage in? And that's because you don't actually have to carry your own garbage, do you, there, princess? Sometimes. You kind of set shit down. Oh, yeah, we spend an, about an hour cleaning up after you here every day. <laughs> I, I've been known that I, I tend to spread like a plague. <laughs> like you, I, do, you know, you're like Pinkman from the Charlie Brown cartoon. I am completely There's like bad. all this, like a trail behind <laughs> you. I'm completely you know? I walk down the hallway here and it's like, oh, look, there's Cynthia. She had sweater. a drink, she had a coffee, there's a sweater. Oh, look, left Bella here. Cheerios. Are you, Cheerios. You don't even know Bella's even here half the time. Frank McInnes, uh, Mc, McInnes, uh, Mac Innes, CEO of EMCOR That's an awfully long Group. name. Not really long, which is interesting. Frank Mac Innes, CEO of EMCOR Group, EME, ticker, spoke about their recent project awards, including the contract for the installation of mechanical systems at EMC Corporation in um, Hopkinton, Ma Massachusetts, which is not Boston. Art Rashbaum, uh, CEO of Maiden Holdings, MHLD ticker, spoke about their strategic quota share agreement with M Amtrust Financial Services and a recent acquisition of GMACRE with approximately $550 million in non-cat reassurance business, which positions the company with an efficient platform to continue business growth. Dennis Hudson, CEO of Seacoast Banking Corporation of Florida, SBCF, Ticker defined a cohesive customer base and strong core deposits as key to achieving their goals, citing that the core deposits in the past few quarters have demonstrated decent growth. Decent? Who wants decent growth? Well, anybody would take decent growth right now. Decent? Yeah. What about beautiful growth, substantial growth, amazing growth? Right now, I will settle for decent. Decent? Yeah. Are you going to run through our guys? Do you settle for decent as well? You know me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go on the record. Won't take them in the. Uh, you won't take them in the lobby, right? Is that what it is? The decent can't go. Can't that. Anyway, you so leave that out. we're here every day at Wall Street Media. Don't forget about the Three Musketeers That's of the right, Year. That's right. I thought you were going to. What's the Three Musketeers of the Year, Doug? In, in that, of the year, I don't like that. That was no good. It just rhymes. It doesn't rhyme. Um, we've got StockTwits.com, right? Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Um, and Investopedia and Covester. Covester. So you come up with something new then. Three the three musketeers of what? I don't know. How about just like the three are, musketeers about, that have ears? No. How about if we don't rhyme, right? Which I know will upset you. Um, but then we do oh, something crazy, like just three, say like I, no, I got here it. are three no, good investments. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got from. it. <laughs> what? The three musketeers that will help you impress your peers. That's not bad. Okay, okay. Was I, All right. was I not good when I was in advertising? Golf When clap. I was in college. I'm not good. 
Anyway, here's the three musketeers that will help you impress your peers. And that is StockTwits, Investopedia, and Covester. They're all free. We're here every day. WSMCO.com. Say goodbye, Doug. Goodbye.